DNA has been recycling society's waste since 1939. You can find us at over 200 locations throughout a large part of Europe. We lead development in many areas and recycle, for example, more than 200,000 cars each year. We supply large quantities of material that can be used in, for example, steel mills and foundries around the world. But we're about to get even better with the building of Europe's most modern recycling plant in Holmstad in western Sweden. At this site, Stierna already returns more than 600,000 tons of useful raw material back into circulation annually. This is where we have chosen to make our greatest investment for many years. So, how can an entire car be dismantled and sorted into its raw materials? Come under the roof of the new facility to see how it works. A car consists of thousands of different components made from many different materials. Taking it apart by hand would take an enormously long time. Our large hammer mill breaks a car down into manageable fist-sized pieces in a matter of seconds. This type of mill is in operation at several locations in the Stiernar production network. The next step involves separating the different materials from each other. Under new EU requirements, 95% of every car must be recycled. At our new facility, we specifically focus on the best techniques to extract a greater number of purer fractions than previously possible. Our expertise and investments are an important contribution to how Sweden and the Nordic countries meet the new recycling requirements. Using large sieves, fans, magnets and water baths, light and heavy fractions are separated and plastics are separated from metals. Ferrous metal, the most abundant material in a car, is separated from non-ferrous metals. In a different process, non-ferrous metals are separated from each other and from other non-magnetic material. A major challenge is to extract the small pieces of plastic and metal that get stuck in textiles and padding when a car is ground down. The great proportion of this mix, called fluff, was previously sent to landfill sites. With new, ultra-modern sorting machines, Stiernar will be one of few recyclers who can successfully separate this problematic mix. At the end of the process, when a car has passed through all the steps in our recycling chain, up to 30 different fractions of useful material will have been separated out. Ferrous and non-ferrous metals that can be used by steel mills and foundries, as well as different types of plastic that can become new products again. And when those products are worn out, they'll be welcome to come back to us at Stierna again to the recycling facility of the future in Sweden.